Jessica, and I'm here with Bill Carlson, founder of BedBugsStore.com, and he's here to help us get rid of bed bugs. Bill, where do we start? The first thing we're going to do is basically tear this entire bed apart, and it sounds like a lot of work, and it, and it kind of is, but it's worth the extra effort, and we're going to show you exactly what to do and some very easy steps on how to do this. So Jessica, we've got the bed stripped down, and now we're going to bag everything up. Now what do you do? Well, now, once we've got everything bagged up, we're going to actually tie this up tight. Okay. Why? We really need to do this because you don't want any bed bugs escaping between here and the route to the washing machine. Definitely. Okay. Alright. Okay, so we have all the bagged up bedding. What do we do now? Well, now, Jessica, we are going to put it on high heat on dry and, very simply, get it as hot as we can. Why are we just going to dry it? Well, because we know 100% certain that it dehydrates bed bugs and kills them. If we were to wash it, it's a possibility that they might still live, you know, so we definitely want to just go straight to the drying process. Okay, that makes sense. All right. And then what do I do with this bag? You're going to take it straight out to the trash. You don't want any chance of those bed bugs getting out. Not at all. All right, Jessica, the next thing that we're going to do is take a very close inspection of the bed here. Ooh, and as you can see, we do oh. have bed bug infestation here. So what's left behind here is the fecal matter from bed bugs, some of their casings as they grow and molt, the, the casings are left behind. And what we're going to do next is actually do a, a very thorough vacuuming of this bed, and we're going to tell you exactly what you need to do there. Then we're going to come by behind it with a very thorough steaming. And then after that is the final blow to make sure that you're going to get totally rid of your bed bug problem here. We're going to use a natural bed bug killer called Bed Bug Patrol okay. uh, that we've used for a long time. So it's a great product and we're going to get rid of this problem. Don't worry. Thank you. The next thing we're going to talk about is vacuuming. You can use any vacuum cleaner that you like, except for the big thing is to know that if you have uh, bags for that vacuum cleaner, for the instance, this one actually closes up. It's not necessary to have that, but if you use another style of vacuum cleaner where you have a canister and you actually empty that into a bag, make sure you empty that into a bag and then basically seal up the bag and walk it outside directly to your trash. You don't want to lose any bed bugs along the way. So any type of vacuum cleaner will work fine. It's just you have to be aware that you're transporting bed bugs around with you because of what we're going to do to thoroughly vacuum this bag. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is vacuum. And again, you can use whatever vacuum cleaner that you like. The big thing is to make sure that you take that bag directly out to the trash. You don't want any bed bugs to escape in between, you know, taking it from here to the trash can. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, now we're going to talk about steamers. Basically, we have two models that we offer on our website. And one is more of a consumer model, this, this smaller model here, and then one is more of a professional pest control uh, model. Both are very effective to kill bed bugs. And basically, you're going to take this and move across the bed right here, just like this, very slowly, and steam the entire bed. Don't miss a square inch of this bed. Now, Bill, i got to ask, why are we using steam? Steam is used because at 212 degrees, it definitely kills all bed bugs. They're definitely susceptible to heat. Okay. And then we have the more professional model. This unit, you're actually going to hear it. It's um, Now, as you can see, you can cover a lot more square footage a lot faster yes. with this unit. And it also has a number of attachments to actually use it to steam your floor, to, to clean your floor and sanitize it. You can use it in your shower or bathroom. So some people opt for this because it's a multi-purpose use. And this can also be used, you know, to steam garments and that kind of thing. Next, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about bed bug sprays. Basically, there's a ton of bed bug sprays on the market, and after doing this for 10 years, I've really settled in on one of the best ones on the market, which is Bed Bug Patrol. And it comes in a 24 ounce size spray bottle, you can see here. We're gonna spray the entire bed here in a minute, but basically it also comes in a 3.3 ounce travel size. We also have gallons of it, and then four pack gallons of it as well. So you can put it in your own sprayer and pump spray wherever you need to around your house. Okay. Well, other than the amazing smell, what are the benefits of bed bug patrol? 
Basically, Bedbug Patrol has been around for seven years out of the ten that I've been doing this, and we have studies from Rutgers University as well as two other independent studies that rate it in the top 95 to 100 percent um, kill rate just after a few minutes. So. Oh wow! So it's pet friendly? Absolutely, it's pet and child friendly. All we ask is that you let it dry down for say half an hour, you know, before you touch or bring anybody around those surfaces that it's been sprayed. Okay. Next, we're going to talk about mattress encasements. How do I know which encasement I need to get for my bed? Well, over the years, what we found is really what we offer are two different kinds. One is more plastic-based that's more temporary, that, of course, is much less expensive, and then there's more cloth-based ones that are actually a better barrier. They last a lot longer. You can wash them, and they'll last, you know, three to five, seven years or more. Okay, as and opposed to the cheaper plastic ones that only last for a couple of weeks or so. Right. Okay. Correct. Now, this will basically repel water, it will repel urine and pet stains, that kind of thing. Okay. And it's also breathable, so you're not just feel like you're sleeping on a sheet of plastic there. Okay. But there's nothing wrong with using the plastic ones, especially for a temporary. Gotcha. And then next we're going to talk about um, bed bug dust and bed bug prevention. So what were you saying about bed bug prevention? Well, basically bed bug prevention is actually the use of products to prevent bed bugs in the future from getting them in the future. So we really have two products here that we use. One is crawling insect control dust, which is an EPA registered, uh, highly specialized diatomaceous earth product, which is natural. It's actually a food grade product that we use. And that's actually poured into this um, wafter here. And this wafter actually allows you to uh, dust it along the baseboards and anywhere that there's cracks and crevices on the floor. Okay, and where can you get one of those? This basically, we ship this with, with the dust oh, product. Cool, so it comes okay. with it for free. And then we have bed bug traps. So these traps actually go on the corners of each. So this is a poster bed on, on each corner. You basically peel back this and stick it underneath the, the poster bed there. And that's all you have to do? Just stick it corner. underneath the post? Correct, because oh. bed bugs can crawl okay. right up these poster boards okay. and off the bottom, and it actually prevents that. Now, I want to caution something. If you have animals or pets, you want to be careful that they're not around this because it's a sticky board here, and it will you know, actually could get on their paw. It's very sticky. <laughs> <laughs> and henceforth, it gets rid of, you know, prevents bed bugs from crawling up, but you want to be careful with pets around. So, and that is our bed bug prevention. Seems simple enough. <laughs>